text to mind map is a pretty simple and straightforward website that lets you create visual maps. I'm going to show you how it works. It's simple to use and I'm going to give you a quick run through. Let's do it. Hey everyone, it's Kevin. Now today what I want to talk about is a website out there that's called text to mind map. What it does is it lets you take information and it lets you paste it in and then it takes the information you've gotten and it needs to be in a tabbed document and it converts it into a visual map. So let's talk about that a little bit. I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to go in somewhere else, another program where I've got a tabbed document and we'll head back over to text to mind map and I can just take this, I can just delete this delete that and I'm going to paste in my new stuff and then I'm going to go ahead down to where it says draw a mind map and we'll throw it in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share with you some of the things I liked about text to mind map, some of the things that I think are frustration points and I'm going to give you my overall impression. All right, let's have a quick look. So first of all, I want to give you an idea of who I am. I can either zoom in using this and I'll use that right now or I can use control and the scroll wheel and it'll do the same thing. So let's just have a quick look at who Kevin is. Just move that over a little bit. I am the author of Visual Productivity. It's a pretty cool ebook out there. Also the creator of the XMind Cheat Sheet. So if you're into XMind, you know, obviously that's gonna be something you might wanna check out. And I actually I train people on how to use visual maps. So that's, I think it's an awesome job and I enjoy doing it. Let's talk about some of the things that I like about text to mind map. There are a few things that I think are really cool. One is that it just, it works. It works on the front page. I don't have to sign in. I don't have to give my uh, my email to use it. But if I want to save a document, they do prompt you for your email. And that's partly, I think, to try and get you, hopefully, to hook you and get you back. But also to make sure that when you come back, they'll, they'll have your documents ready for you. It also has dynamic movement. And what I mean by dynamic movement is when I grab this thing, I'm just going to left click. I can drag things around and just, it kind of it moves. If I, you know, if I hit this, it kind of... It, everything connects, but it settles down quick enough. Sometimes you get sea sickness by having so much motion, so I, I think that's fine. I also like the idea of having parentheses to add text to lines, and you can see I've got, it says line text right there on the line. Let's head over to where it says what I like, and you can see it right there. I've put in parentheses line text here. So that equates to this, so pretty cool. Uh, a few things that I think are maybe frustration points, or if I was using this a lot, I think it would frustrate me. One is that you can't edit the map. I can't sit here and I can't double click on this and it won't, I can't edit right in the map. If I have to make a change, I have to go, okay, for, okay, so my frustration points here, so I gotta find frustration points. You can't edit the map and then I can go, oh, yes, I can. And then I have to go down and hit dry my map again. All right, so there you go. You can see the changes have been made. I think it would be easier, obviously, if I could just click on the, the node and edit that after I'd already dumped my information in. But you have to go back and, and redraw it. But that frustration point. The second thing is that when you have your information, you can download it as a PDF or an image. And I tried downloading the image and it, it took a little while and it was pretty tiny as well. Now I put in here that the image is tiny because it, it seems like it's small for the size of the visual map which means that if I'm trying to zoom in really big or I'm trying to put it, use it for a presentation, it may not always show without being pixelated and there's no way to change the size of the download of the file that you're downloading the image. So that'd be a, bit, a frustration point for me. Overall, my impression really is that it's tough because you can't really work with the information, which that's a huge downside to me. Uh, it's handy as just being able to grab something. I can bring over some information and just dump it in like I've mentioned I do want to say though that this is it's an interesting tool. I do like just coming in here and it's kind of fun to play around with this and drag and drop things. Uh, I'm just not sure if I can add this to the recommended list, but it's definitely a cool tool. I'd say head over here, put some information in, see if it works for you. And if it looks interesting to you, go ahead and check it out. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll talk soon. If you're interested in going deeper with visual maps, check out Visual Productivity. Just follow along as I walk you through business, personal and learning topics step by step. Head over to yourmakingme.com to check it out.